Hey guys, I am so excited. We just got the trace in from Shaper. Now the way this works is by placing an item in the middle of this frame, you trace out that item, take a picture of it with your phone, and it spits out an SVG file. This is great news for laser engravers because that's what we are going to be doing today. We are going to be using a laser engraver to cut out this foam to the very dimensions of this huge folding knife to fit right in the top of here or the top of here. So the first thing we are going to do is to trace around this knife on a piece of paper. Okay, there we go. Now that we got this traced out, we are going to take this frame right here and pull it out of the package and put it right over the trace. Now that we have the trace app opened on our phone, we are going to take a picture of the frame. Are you serious? That is that simple? My gosh. And look at how accurate this is. That is crazy. We have a few different adjustments that we can make on here, but this is supposed to be just a quick overview of this to show you what you can do. We are going to export this and upload it to Creative Space. For the next step, we are going to put this foam inside of this Xtool S1 laser. And I want to give you guys a tip. The foam that I am using is this cheap, grid workout foam that you can kind of puzzle piece together. Harbor Freight is the cheapest and best place to get this stuff. This is 11 millimeters thick and let's go ahead and place this inside our engraving bed. So we have our rectangle cut out to the dimensions and the power at 60 and the speed at 10. So hopefully this will be some good settings. I'm kind of shooting in the dark here. Okay guys, we have this lined up perfect. Now let's look at my computer screen. On the Creative Space software, we have the outline of the cold steel Xpada knife. So on the power, we are at 60, speed is 16, and I've actually reduced the size by one millimeter. That way the knife will fit in there snug. Okay guys, look here, this is fantastic. Now I can put this in the top and it fits perfect, but I am going to put it on the lid itself and you can see it is bare metal. Now I wish I had a thin sheet of foam, but I don't, so I'll just cut out a piece of leather. I'm gonna place that in there. I, could, I should probably glue that, but I'm just gonna see how this works out. We are going to put this in here. Perfect. Now we are going to take our knife. I am going to have to work on this just a little bit more. If this was laying down flat, it would work perfect. And this is a very, very heavy knife. So I will be redoing this and getting a little bit more accurate with the pin, but that is great. I mean, that just looks fantastic. Okay, there you guys go. We cut out a foam insert for this big knife. I do feel the trace did a fantastic job with the accuracy and with the ease of use. I mean, this thing is just so easy to use. The only error was on my part with how thick I got the lines around the knife and with these software settings. I don't think that's anything on trace. That is all me, but for someone needing a simple solution for things like I'm doing here, I mean, this was fantastic and I will link up the product link below. This is not an affiliate link. I wish it was, but it's not. Um, we bought this with our own money. 
I definitely have some modifying to do. The Creative Space software, I did shrink that just a little bit, but I needed to go about probably four more millimeters on that for it to be real snug. Now this was a last minute video, just down and dirty. I did not spend a lot of time with the quality or the audio, but I will have another video where I will cover this more in depth. I'll talk to you guys soon and expect another full video of this. Before we go, I wanna see how sharp this knife is.